in radians. So let's just talk about what is an angle. Okay. Well, an angle is basically two lines. You have where the angle starts, which we call the initial side. And we have where the angle ends, which is called your terminal side. Okay. You got the vertex of your angle, which is right here. And we measure our angle over here with theta. Now, we talk about angles being in standard position. That is because we talk about the x and y axis. And we like for our initial sides to be on the x axis. Now the angle can end anywhere. The angle can end over here in the third quadrant, right? Is the first quadrant, second, third, fourth. Well, what would be the angle? The angle is measured from the initial side all the way to the terminal side. All right, that's this terminal, and that would be your theta. Right. If you go counterclockwise, the angle is going to be positive. And if you go clockwise, the angle will be negative. I always thought that was kind of weird. Um, if we talk about a circle, right? We talk about this being zero degrees, this being 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, or 360 degrees. Radians. Our radian is how we define the um, theta in terms of the arc length, okay? Theta is going to be S over R, where S is the arc length. So if we start at the center of a circle and we make an angle hmm, made up of those two radii, this angle right here is the ratio of the distance of the arc over the radius of the circle. Mm -hmm. That ratio is going to be the measurement of that. Right, so we say we have one radian when the arc length is equal to the radius. And how many radians do we have in a circle? Well, start with zero radians, and we say a full circle is two pi radians, so that means half the circle will be pi. Half of a pi is pi halves. This is pi halves, pi three halves pi. And that's how we look at the circle in terms of radians. Okay? How do we convert from radians to degrees? Well, you're going to multiply by pi over 180. And I'm doing examples in just a bit. And how do we convert from degrees to radian? You're going to multiply by 180 over 5. Alright, let's do the examples over here. So let's say that I have 120 degrees and I want to change that into radians. Well, what do I do? Well, 120 times pi over 180 degrees gives me 2 thirds pi. So it's 120 divided by 180. Or, here's your other example, okay? 
let's say that I have negative 40, um, no, let's do something in right here. negative 3 halves pi, okay? And we want to know how many degrees. Well, you do negative 3 halves pi times 180 degrees, half a circle pi. Pi's cancel, and you basically get negative 3 times 180 divided by 2. And you should get negative 270. Let's go terminal angles. The next thing that I taught you were, or was, called terminal angles. And that's pretty simple. If you're in degrees, I told you that you add or you subtract 360. And if you're in radians, you will do the same, add or subtract, but it's going to be 2 pi. So, example 1 for this, let's say that you have, do mm, we have an easy angle, 45 degrees. Well, what's a positive coterminal? Well, a positive coterminal. I'm just going to put co-t for co-terminal, will be 45 plus 360, which gives you 405. So 405 degrees would be a co-terminal of 45, so this would look like this. If you sketch a 45 degree angle, this one is 405. Well, what does 405 look like? Oh, sorry, 45 degree angle. That's what I meant to say, okay? This one is a 45 degree angle. And if I sketch the 405, how would it be? Well, it would look like this. This is 360 plus 45 is 405. And guess what? It is exactly the same angle. They share the same co-terminal sign. And if we do this in radians, minus pi thirds, and we want to find coterminal angles. Oh, I'm sorry, positive coterminal. My bad. I'll get back to the minus pi thirds. Negative coterminal. Remember, co t for coterminal. You start once again at 45, but this time you subtract 360. And you get negative 350. And it'll be the same thing. You have 45 degrees. If you do the negative coterminal angle, negative 315 would be this one. And once again, you share the same coterminal angle. Negative pi thirds. Well, to get the positive coterminal, you do minus pi thirds plus 2 pi. And what you do is ignore the pi and just work with the numbers basically do minus one third plus two and you're gonna get five pi over three okay. or you can get the negative coterminal and it's negative pi thirds minus two pi same deal ignore the pi Work with the numbers, minus one-third, minus two, is going to give you minus seven-thirds. And there you have it.